Alright, so today, class, we're going to learn about protecting groups. Last class, we learned about the Grignard and how it forms new carbon-carbon bonds. Unfortunately, there's a major issue with this if we have an acidic proton. As you see right here... Okay, sorry. Let's, let's get this back. So you see here, we've got our Grignard right here. But then, if over here we have an acidic proton, this thing, which is highly basic, will attack that proton, and we'll, we won't have the reaction we're looking for. So what we need to do is protect that group. We need to make sure that this Grignard can react with other carbonyls without taking this proton right here. So the protecting group we're going to use for this is called tetrabutyl dimethylsilane, and it looks something like this. And this is a great protecting group for alcohols. Yes, Max. Isn't that turt? Um, uh, let's, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's turt. Uh, here you go. Here's some candy. <laughs> oh, my, my bad. Good, good try, though. Uh, hey, Kelly? <laughs> Kelly, are you with me? Yes, Dr. Joe. Are you sure? Yes, yes. Okay, so let's carry on then. So this is the molecule we're going to use as our protecting group for our alcohol. Just give me one second here. How we're going to do this is, I'm going to take my molecule that has some alcohol on it, and I'm going to put this uh, TBDMS, into, TBDMS CL, excuse me, uh, into it, and we're going to end up with an oxygen that has this silicon group off the side, and that's going to keep this safe from any Grignard, even though the Grignard is a strong base, there's no longer the acidic proton on there to take it and to ruin our reaction. So now, when we add our Grignard, we will get something that looks much like this. And we get that on there. And that's an excellent way to form new carbon-carbon bonds as we discussed in the last class. No, I already talked about it, so I'm not going to sing about it this time. But this is great, and then we can just add tea bath with a little bit of water to restore this to the alcohol on that position. Now, the point of the protecting group is to take a group that's in a reactive position and turn it into a non-reactive group so that we can do other reactions, much like the Grignard or other ones we'll see later on in the class. And then this protective group should also be easily removed, much like this one, which can be removed with TBAF and H2O. If you're curious about the structure of TBAF, no, you don't need to know it for the exam, but it looks like this. And there's a fluorine right there. And that is what we will use, again, with a little bit of water to remove that protecting group that we put on there. So are there any questions right now? No? Are you sure? Okay. Well then, uh, let's move on. I want to protect the very best from tea tumps to alcohols. To save them is my real test, the reaction is my cause. I will travel across the land, searching far and wide, to find a group to understand the power that's inside. For protectors, it's you and me. I know it's my destiny. Protectors, oh, you're my best friend. It's a group we must defend. Protectors, TVMS so true. Acetals will pull us through. You'll shield me and I'll shield you. Protectors, protect them all. Gotta protect them all. Keep going this way, you have to battle me. I'm gonna destroy your 
alcohol, I choose you, Grignard Reagent. Oh no! I have to protect the alcohol from being deprotonated by the nasty, basic Grignard Reagent. We need a protecting group. I choose you, TVDMS. Again. Let's release you, TBDMS. I choose you, T Bath. All right. So, does anybody want to try to do the synthesis problem up on the board? Anybody? Come on, guys. It's not that tough. We just talked about this. I know, okay. Doctor Joe. Okay, Kelly. Let's go. All right, there you go. Well, Dr. Joe, all you have to do, protect with TBDMS. Mm -hmm. Then count my carbons. And the product of this reaction forms a new carbon carbon bond. I will be You're ready. All right, so does anyone <coughs> want to try to do this synthesis problem up on the board right now? Do the wave, do a wave. Go! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Okay, okay. All right, back. <laughs> Why do you need to compose yourself? It's not the fun. Okay, go. Yeah. Gary Grinier, my arch rival. Okay, are we all going to the go. Ready? Okay, go, go. Are we huddling around you? Okay, ready? Go around in a circle. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh! Alright, let's keep walking. We're going to use a protective group known as TDMS or tetrabutyl dimethyl sulfonyl. That's Then do something else. <laughs> I choose you, tea bath. Working on <laughs>
the best video. <laughs> you can quote me on that. Um, I just been reviewing for the final. And I have a few questions. So, what would happen say if I had a carboxylic acid? <laughs> and it, there was a Grignard reagent. <laughs> <laughs> and and what if we also had a protecting group? Because the Grignard reagent is just so mean. And how would you remove that protecting group? I just I really can't. Oh, T math. <laughs> Uh, wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, that is fantastic. Uh, uh, yeah. Am I supposed to say something? <laughs>